Hi everyone, welcome to Point of Sobs in front of London Way. Porky's Burger Time. We're gonna get a burger from them. Let's go check it out. Ricky's got our treats. Uh huh. Let's go to the back of Tammy and see if we can't eat them. He said he gave us some extras. A little, a little secret something on the top. Turn around, turn around. This is unboxing. What is that? That's the head of pork. No way. <gasps> on fries. To taste. This is like a what you may call it, a loaded fries. Oh man, it's like gristly and I just want to try a fry straight away. What's the flavor like? Oh no! Wow. Can you guys see her face? Mm. That was like Mark Weens couldn't even pull that face. That's how genuine that was. That was bursting flavor. Oh Ooh, man. And sticky. Is you it gonna, sticky? You're gonna love this fry. Oh man, Rick. One more for me. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Good. Mm. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mm. I want to get in there. I want to get in there. Mm. Oh man, it just looks so good. Yeah, this is not normally my sort of a thing because it's like skin and fat mm. and uh, yeah, bits of head of pig, but it tastes delicious. This gelatinously skin mm. stuff. Oh wow. Oh wow. I know. <laughs> How's that flavor? That flavor is delicious. Oh man. Oh man, this, this, this is a treat. That is a treat and the chips are fantastic. Mm. Mm. I love the taste of the chips and that, that gooey sticky smack your oh, lips. Oh man, it's like glue. <laughs> it is. Oh. <laughs> this, this is Ooh, really good. Oh, it is If so you can good. eat pork, get this. Uh -huh. I don't even want to know what the burgers are like. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> I'm spoiled now. Mm. We are just sitting here scoffing this. Head of the pig. <laughs> this, this I'm not sure what it is, mm. like a jelly bit, and then you get these kind of nice bits that I can eat, and then like these big fatty bits. Yeah, oh. I know, not healthy, but but the <laughs> full flavor, the chips. Even if you can't eat the head, get it on the mm. chips and eat the chips. The flavor is so good. Mm, mm, mm. That's the weirdest thing I've seen in Mauritius. It is really a pork head with gristle. Never seen anything weird like that. We're gonna unbox, un, unbox. My un fingers also sticky from the <laughs> pork head. This is the burger, Ooh. or the mayo one. So you know these are yours. Let's see. Look. Oh man! Look at that. Pineapple and pickle. Loads of pineapple. Mm. It's got the same flavor on the burger. Ooh. Oh wow! That looks great. This is the burger, which may or may not be pork, but. It's Porky's burger time, so it's got to be pork. I think so. And it's pineapple and cheese mm. and yumminess. Go good. for it, Rick. <laughs> mm. There's so much spice in the meat, like five spice and really, it's really tasty. Awesome. You'll see. I'll see. He <laughs> literally can't film me because she's so sticky. Uh -uh, yeah, mine, they got a little bit of chili on. Mine's the same. Oh, mine's the same burger. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, wow. we went for the classic. You can't skimp. Yeah, you just, just hold the stick, Rick. Uh -huh. Dying to try it. Here we go. Mmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's good, mm -hmm. eh? Yeah, the mm -hmm. spicy notes. Absolutely yeah. delicious. There's a lot of spice in that. I'm not a huge burger fan, but that is super mm. tasty. Mm. With mm. the pineapple. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> With everything, the onions, the pineapple, the... Come here and get this burger. Mm. Or any of the things that they do. It looks exquisite. My number one or, choice. yeah, if you're feeling adventurous. Get this, this is so yummy, it is so yummy. Oh, the burger is really nice, it's actually growing on me. Oh yeah, the burgers are 150 with the chips, which is amazing. Uh -huh. I don't know how the much the poor kid is, because he gave it to us to try, but I think it's really cheap. We will be back to try more. Yeah. Those are really nice. And I want the pork crackling. Uh-huh. I think they only do that on a Saturday. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Porky's burgers, it is worth it. It is really worth it, they are fantastic. Get it, come and try it. Well anyway everyone, Here's stuff we did earlier, uh, before we came to Porky's, because I opened late. <laughs> Enjoy it. It is just a little surprising. I mean, the toilet there, which Ricky has shown you. Sometimes you can get so surprised in Mauritius, like this pretty decent public toilet in the middle of nowhere. A petunk court? And I bet they have crystal white sand. 
<laughs> okay, so it's probably a rocky beach, but let's go see it. It also holds a secret. And there's loads of parking. Maybe it gets full on weekends. Pro it probably does get full on weekends. But have a look down here. This is actually quite a nice area. You got some benches, you got some places you can sit, some rock. It's a rock pool. Yeah, There's a it rock is. Pool. It's a secluded rock pool. We're going to go down really and... It's really safe. It does. It looks great. I'm going to show you more. Okay, I fully admit this is not Perry Bear Beach, but it is beach. I mean, this is sand I'm walking on here. And there's sand to the little bit of the tidal pool. I it love does... the tidal pool. It's such a great thing. You can go out to where it's a little bit deeper. You can probably stand on the rocks and fish. But out in the distance, you can see ships and Port Louis Harbour. And this, if you wanted to suntan in... In the the sun's actually gonna the sun is gonna set over there, so you probably have great views of the sunset. But there's beach, unspoiled beach. Walking along the beach for the montage. Even though there's no montage, we still do the walk for the montage sometimes. <laughs> I just saw this, like it's on the rocks. I mean, these rocks are really cool and stuff. And this is the water over there, but have a look. Someone's actually put an offering here. It's like a coconut, there's some money in there. That's really interesting. I'm out on the rocks a little bit. Oh, it's a little slippy because I didn't take my shoes off. But how cool is this rock? I've got Ricky there. Uh -huh. It's very cool. And this, oh, and there's a fishing bird. It's just a fascinating place. It really is a fascinating place. And because we like doing old school vlog style, it's probably way too windy and you guys can't hear me at all. <laughs> oh, the rocks. This is a fishing village, so you're going to get a lot of fishermen and also a lot of fishing boats. This area doesn't have fishing boats, probably because of all the rocks. But it's kind of cool. And you can see like every single tanker and container ship coming into the harbour. Wow. This behind me, would you believe, is Petty Verger Prison. You can see by the walls and the barbed wire that it actually is a prison, but I have to go in. Oh, because I forgot my mask. That's why they're putting me in prison. Mask on, everyone. Crossing the boundary. There is a really good reason why we're coming into the prison grounds. It's not actually the prison grounds. It's more like the officer's area there. There's a lamb kiln, an actual lamb kiln. Have a look. We're gonna go up and have a look. There's stairs, it's actually quite well maintained up here. Very well maintained. Oh, she's a beauty. Oh, wow. Oh, and she's got a good top. We'll go have a look on the top. Oh man, I'm just gonna go around a bit. Oh, there's a plaque, there's an actual plaque. So we'll have a look at the plaque quickly and then I'll come back to you. Wow, this is the first time I've seen something like this on a lamb kiln, but it's all the history of the lamp kilns. And here's one of the 25 around Port Louis. Thank you guys. Up you guys go. And now we got a drone. <laughs> We're looking down into it. We don't know what's inside. I can't see from here. But I think there's a way around the corner. It does have a gorgeous flamboyant tree. And of course, the ocean just out there. What a lovely view of a lamb kiln. For a lamb kiln. There is a second path, so I'm going to try this one and go around the corner. Kiosk. There's a nice kiosk here. I'll cut all that other stuff out. Oh, really? I hope I cut that other stuff out. But anyway, ow, 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 ow. Oh, this is a thorn bush. Just hold on. I was going to show you a close up of the big thorns on this thorn bush, but then Ricky said, because I said, hold on, and Ricky said, that's what the thorn bush said. <laughs> brilliant, Rick, brilliant. Anyway, oh, we can actually go down into the lamb kiln. Oh, there's stairs actually leading into it. Oh, and you can see the whole of the outside with the, the buttresses holding it up. So we can actually go into this lamb kiln. They have stairway. Oh, man. Okay, the door is quite small. But you can go in it, and it's got a channel in the middle. And... Oh wow, it has been repaired. It has been repaired, but it is beautiful in here. But you see how it curves up and over. This would have been filled with lime and that would have made the fires below. And literally so much cooler. 
It is. It is so much cooler in here. It's like air conditioned. It's wonderful. I want a house in a lamb kiln. <laughs> I'll make it work. I think you could. You got one big window. Cool. Awesome. Fully intact lamb kiln. Right here. Right here. Oh man, and they've, they've repaired it and everything. It is brilliant. Nice one, guys. Nice one. This area here behind me seems to be a bit of a spiritual park. Yes, they've got a couple of the god statues here. And uh, there are more. There's a lion. I don't know if you can see the lion back there. But they, they, dotted, they dotted around in areas. Like this one here. A couple under the trees and they're more closer to the water. Oh, this is this is actually quite interesting. This is actually quite interesting. It is a bit like a spiritual park. It really is. You've got uh, the Brahmin one here. So you can do your, where, where, where they cut the coconut and, and the water runs through. I, I think that's how it is. Or well, that's how it was where, where we saw it. And the others here, which, which is views of the sea. Oh man, I might just swing you guys around. So that's the sea out there. And this is actually like a spiritual park. And it's interesting because I see over here. Those look like crosses. That genuinely looks like a cross. Look from above and it's got the steel cross on it. Definitely looks like a Knights Templar cross there. And another one over here. Wow. That, that's kind of interesting. If you guys know anything about this. It's like this Knights Templar cross with the crosses. And, and the coconuts and things like that. Please let me know. This is really interesting. Well. The, 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 the spiritual park and, and the. Even cross, I think it's called, Rick. Yeah. It's an even cross, that thing I showed you. I'm not going back there. That's why we're looking at the beautiful sea. Because I'm pretty sure I read it was haunted. <laughs> it's haunted. Now I've got the heebie jeebies again. <laughs> but you were fine before you knew. <laughs> no, no, you, you never not know. <laughs> Fantastic cove, though. Fantastic. Brian thought this was an ice cream truck, but it's not. It's an Italian peeled tomato truck. <laughs> Maybe it's a pizza truck. <laughs> that's my kind of ice cream truck. There cannot be a road in front of us. It looks like a drawbridge that's left open. <laughs> We're not going to make it. <laughs> Go, Timmy. Uh, wow. If it was any longer. Oh, <laughs> oh look at this. Huh. Oh. Check this out. Came down this dirt road. I think that's probably the prison back there. <laughs> but hang on, let me show you out the window. They do cliff jumping, I think. They, they can't jump off that. It says cliff jumping. This, this. It's definitely a sign of people jumping. It says diving jumping is located. Okay, it's not encouraging you to jump. <laughs> okay, I thought that's what it was. It was saying this is a safe place to jump. But up we go, up the cliff, up the cliff. Even Brave Ricky's coming, she's also going to jump off. Oh wow, I'm not jumping off that, are you insane? Have a look at this. I don't even know if you guys can see it because of the sun. Oh, we can actually see it there. But this just drops down. You wouldn't jump off this, it looks like there are rocks there. Oh, you probably could jump off here. Look down there, look down there. Oh wow, that's a long way down. That is awesome. I'd rather prefer you didn't stand so close to that edge. It's like a cliff down there. But this is probably where the people shouldn't be jumping. Here. No, no, there's a big waterway, Rick. A spillway. And over there is the lighthouse. Is that Albion Lighthouse? We can't be that close. That there is Albion Lighthouse, probably. This is actually La Point. Uh, well, down there, I suppose. Where you've got a little piece of beach down there, but you also have this. So you can sit in the shade and have a picnic. Probably not a picnic because it's a beach. And over there are toilets. 
another little beach. It's a bit of a strange area because there's like a lot of beach fronted, not really developed very much. And yeah, it's like there's nothing here. Yeah. And it's so close to Port Levy, you'd think that this would be prime real estate property. But no. Probably going to be a bit windy, but this is another awesome little beach area. You got some stairs coming up, and then they go down into the sea. So you can just walk right in and swim where they are. Or you can walk by the sand. Or you can walk in by the sand. But there's like, there's a kiosk here, there's are toilets. There's even an ice cream guy, genuine ice cream guy. If you listen, you can hear him. <laughs> that piece was to isolate wind noise. <laughs> This is rather interesting. It's just a boat cut in half. I thought it might be something, but it literally is just a boat cut in half. And then over here, it looks like you can have your barbecues. So a safe place for barbecues. Lovely shady picnic area. So Brian's gone into the Minister of Blue Economy to ask how we can access the pier, which is right in front of their building, because he believes that there's a submarine near the pier. Not sure why he didn't just ask if there's a submarine, but now some guy is going to show him where to go. Very helpful. We can go, there's a door. Okay, cool. And is the submarine there? I don't know, I didn't ask. Oh, I didn't think to ask. <laughs> You're actually looking up. for the submarine, not the pier. So, here in fact is the gate, as promised, <laughs> which leads onto the pier. On in. Come to my pier. Walking down the pier for the montage. Oh, we still don't do montages. But how cool is this pier? It's a pier. And everything. There's a weird chair. I'm going to have to zoom in on that chair. You guys will have to see this chair. We're doing model walk. That in the middle of the screen is a chair. Have a look around. Uh huh. Middle of the ocean. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice one, Rick. Sad day. I've walked around this whole pier and haven't found a submarine. Must be somewhere else. I'm actually looking down there because it looks like there's another pier, but a smaller one. Anyway, no submarine for us, I'm afraid. Submarine <laughs> Maybe it's just out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Video. <laughs> Pierre, no submarine. <laughs> Brian's not finding no submarines. No, no submarines. submarines. Is that a yellow submarine? I think so. <laughs> there you go, submarine. And there's the yellow submarine. No, oh, no, it's, oh, it's just a boy. Just a boy. Looking at other boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not a submarine. <laughs> oh no, that is not that is not right, Rick. <laughs> this is the Point de Sabs Mortello Tower. There were actually five of them built around the island. There are actually two in Black River. In fact, I'll put a card up there, the Black River, where we actually go into one of these. We actually go inside. Ain't they beautifully built by the They're British? On top. They could actually put cannons on top and you could actually see on the other one where you could actually, where it would ring. But you can't get into this one. Like three meter thick walls. This thing is impressive. Really impressive. Okay, I changed my mind. I want a house inside a Mortello Tower. They're a little bit bigger than a lamb kill. And three meter walls going to be even It's going to be so nice and cool. There is a bit of a problem with Ricky's plan to live in there because that's the entrance. <laughs> I don't think that's the entrance, I think that's one of the windows. But the entrances are really high up. Yes, there we are, there's the entrance. But it's boarded up at the moment. So that's how they used to get in. This one is closed up, which means it's probably still fully intact inside. Oh, I wonder if we could get permission to go in sometime. So this is Commercial Centre Martello. Looks like a gym up there. 
and a massive save mark. Well, I'm, I'm just assuming. <laughs> Nail clinic, pharmacy, doctors, pizzeria, everything you need. There's the snack place. I'm not sure, but they do have seating in their little restaurant on the side there. And this is the Save Mart. They do have some chairs. It is a regular Save Mart. You can see some chairs. So if you get some snacks from here. And of course, wherever we're going, people are hiring. They need help. Car wash. And it says, see a cuisine over. Hmm. Let's go see. Look how cool Signal Mountain is though. Pretty cool place to have a restaurant. Loads of parking. Except... Kind of closed. What a pity. Oh wow, back in the day, this must have been so cool. They would have had like the football or something up there on the big screen. People would have sat around here. There's a bar, You've got some tables. Place to sit, looks like there could have been a piano at the end there. This is the bar. It literally says it at the top there, bar. And then we're gonna go in here. Okay, so this is their kitchen, another bar. And a restaurant in here. Oh wow, that is actually pretty cool. And it's right here, let me show you. Let me show you the best bit. And it's not the football on the big screen. It's this view. Huh? This is the view, Signal Mountain, across the way there to Port Louis, the sugar terminal, and the boats coming in. That is cool. Weird noises. Looks like it was quite a big place though. Oh, look at that, look at that, it's moving, it's moving. I think that's a Loch Ness being chased by something behind it. <laughs> oh, that's his body. Oh, wow. Oh, that's his body, that's a big monster. Oh, wow, this place, I can't remember what it's called. This is pretty cool because as you come in, Villa Le Pearl Blue, you can actually come and get a room here, but it's got this infinity pool out to the sea. Have a look at that. Awesome. I'm gonna try to capture this the way it is because it's an infinity pool that overlooks the sea. It is so beautiful. Oh wow. Oh man. And it's like such a big door here. And the couches and things on the side are just awesome. It is beautifully designed. It really is. Have a look at that. Oh wow. Ha. And you can sit here. And look at the sea, it is, this is, wow, what a fantastic place. How cool is this chair? You can actually sit and get like a cocktail here and look out at that. Looking more at that view with the sky reflected in the ground. If you're having a business and you want to stay here, a sea view is 900. Five o'clock until... 5 p.m. to 8 a.m., so just overnight. 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. overnight. And the sun is going to sit right there. Villa Le Pearl, Le Pearl Blue. What a great logo with the coral and everything. There's a link, I'll put a link below. You guys can find them there. It is still under construction. I know I left my sunglasses in the car. But how awesome is this deck gonna be? Overlooking, that is the biggest view of the sea in Mauritius. Massive piece of sea. This is the Royal Suite, it's still under construction, but I'll show you the best bits. This is the jacuzzi bath. Oh man. And that's the view. But you guys are gonna have to wait until next week. It'll only be ready next week. Wow, these are really nice rooms. You oh, want a quick man. stay over or a long stay over? Oh, I'm moving in. Mm -hmm. It's okay when we stay here. This actually is a fantastic room. I can't believe you can actually stay here five till eight in the morning for 900 rupees with your pool and your deck. You can just go out there, a little bit of a balcony overlooking the pool and the sea. And it's got a fantastic bathroom. Let me quickly show you. Oh, we got a Ricky here as well. <laughs> Massive rain shower area. Uh, sunglasses on for the Ricky wave. <laughs> Why isn't Ricky doing it? She's standing right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't get to stay here tonight. Because uh, it's so close to home. But hopefully, hopefully we'll come and stay here just because we can. <laughs> okay, it's awesome. only 900 rupees. Okay, so we found this lychee cellar, but she doesn't speak English. So Brian went there with a piece of paper and a pen so she could write the price down. And it's 150 a pound. So he's gonna get some lychees. First lychees of the season. <laughs> Double price. 
<laughs> I got an extra one. <laughs> <laughs> so I can try it right now. Go for it. See if they're any good. You're supposed to have the sample before you buy. But I've got mine. I was just going to buy lychees. What, what, come what may. Oh man, I've been missing lychee. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> December and Mauritius. Lychee season. <laughs> Okay, so are quite an expensive fruit. You don't get much for 150, mm -hmm. but they're a treat that comes once a year. And you gotta eat them if and you like them. Ricky doesn't them. like them. I'm so happy. I'm okay with them. They're just a lot of effort. Up for a mango. Lychee season. <laughs> this is London Way. I think it's just a supermarket, but it does seem very, very busy. Mm -hmm. And there's an ATM. So if you need an ATM, there's one just there. Cool. Just ran into Samantha. She's on holiday here from the UK, planning yeah. on moving back. You might notice the sun is starting to set. And there's a reason we're in Ponte Saab so late. Yes. There's a shop that only opens at five o'clock. Let's go to it now, please. I'm hungry. <laughs> Very hungry. <laughs> so you may be wondering why we are sitting looking at people warm up for a soccer game. Well, because the reason we came down here at this late hour was to come to a certain restaurant, but they weren't open when they said they were open. So I phoned them and he's like, who is this? And I'm like, it's someone sitting outside your restaurant that's not open. <laughs> and he was like, I'm so sorry, I'm be there now. Point to sobs. And this is the reason we're here. I suppose technically I should show you the other things around porkies, because we've probably eaten the, the, the porkies now. Oh, I'm going to get run over. But there's a, a chicken place and a car place and a, a, a snack shop. And a beautiful sun. And a beautiful sun. Oh, and that's the beautiful sun of which we spoke. <laughs> sun is setting. Wow, point of sobs. Has more to offer than you expect. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.